is a magic under the azure waters of the Red Sea, a sea wrapped in mystery and legend. Ancient sailors were known to call it the sea at the end of the world. The Sinai Desert thrusts itself into the Red Sea like a wedge. It has few inhabitants, all Bedouin nomads who have learned to live with the barrenness that is the Sinai. The gateway to this wonderland is Eilat, Israel's southernmost port, a city with some of the finest recreational facilities in the world. It is from here that the fantasy will take you on a diving experience you will never forget. The spectacular beauty of the Northern Red Sea reveals itself on every dive. Warm, clear waters protected by two arms of uninhabited and undeveloped desert have given sanctuary to a unique strata of coral life. Over a thousand species of fish live here and marine life abounds. Each new underwater corridor is a passage to another realm of this wonderland, exposing corals and sponges soft and hard and explosive in color. There is no better way to see the Red Sea than from a dive boat, and there is none better equipped than the Fantasy, owned and operated by Howard Rosenstein, who's been diving here for over 15 years. There is not a convenience the Fantasy does not have, for it was designed by divers with the diver in mind. You never know what surprises the Red Sea may bring.
like this school of dolphins out in full force to welcome us to their special world. The sharks like them too, they come and they nibble at the end of it. cover that now. No, no, no. But just be careful though, really. The sun never sets on the Red Sea, for even at night it is alive and vibrant. Those creatures who have spent the daylight hours hidden in the reefs now come out and perform in our spotlights. And what a performance it is. and deck and it's time to share experiences and to experience time time for yet another meal prepared by the fantasy chef and to just relax with a crew of professionals the fantasy is a boat used by professionals as well Professor Eugenie Clark of the University of Maryland is one among many. She's been diving the Red Sea for over 30 years, and for her, the Red Sea is more than just a laboratory. It's a love story. In many parts of the Red Sea, you have these magnificent reefs that just come right out from land. You just get into the water, and in uh, a few yards, the reef is starting to drop in a vertical wall and this wall just drops in a, a few yards from shore to thousands of feet in depth and all the sediment sinks to the bottom and the water is incredibly clear and the fish life is concentrated on this wall and then right a few yards away you have tuna schools of tuna going by mackerel and uh, pelagic fish coming in very close all within one concentrated place i don't know of any other place in the world that has such a concentration of beauty and fascinating fish to study and the seasons change and sites like that you can see all in one short space in one dive you see so many fishes hundreds of different kinds of fishes thousands of different species of marine animals all concentrated in one place went down the Sinai coast and found the increasingly wonderful reefs until I hit Ras Muhammad. Uh, that was just it for me. I was convinced that uh, I really 
although I go to other places in the world, if I had to dive every day for the rest of my life at Ras Muhammad, I know I would never get bored. There's so many interesting things going on in that one area. The fantasy will bring you to Ras Muhammad, Muhammad's head. It will also take us to Tehran Island, whose fossil-studded surface supports life like these hermit crabs, designed by nature to live on almost nothing. And, as if nature's gifts were not enough to make the Red Sea the most unique dive spot in the world, there are also wrecks, some over a hundred years old. Each stands as a statue of beauty where nature has planted new gardens. A unique treasure. That is how everyone who has ever come into contact with this world has described it. Let the fantasy expose you to it. It's an experience you'll never forget.